Lehman Brothers, Goldman Sachs, uh, the news this week is all about disasters on Wall Street and how to keep them from happening again, hopefully. Our next guest has a radical blueprint for reform on Wall Street, and he outlines it in his book. Jimmy Stewart is dead, ending the world's ongoing financial plague with limited purpose banking. Boston University economist Larry Kotlikoff joins us now to talk about it. Before we get into any of it, why the title? What does it have to do with Jimmy Stewart? Well, Jimmy Stewart is this honest, honest banker in this lovely Christmas movie, It's a Wonderful life and what we know is that that we don't have these honest bankers that we can rely on at the top of these big companies we have people out for themselves we've got malfeasance throughout the industry uh, the rating companies Congress you know it's an interconnected mess and so we can't trust people to do the right thing and we can't trust regulators to sit babysit these people we need to have a system that's simple and foolproof Larry, help me out here. If you can't trust the bankers, the guys running the firms, in your view, if you can't trust the regulators who are supposed to be kind of watching over right. these folks, who can you trust then in this system? I mean, how can you then create a system where it is trustworthy? Well, it's actually very simple. That's what limited purpose banking is all about. It's got two parts to it. One is you have a, new, a single federal regulatory agency, which I call the Federal Financial Authority, which would fully disclose on the web in real time all the securities that uh, any financial intermediary is holding, selling, or buying. So you have full disclosure. We don't have any disclosure, basically, in the current system. So people don't know what they're buying. That rating, that regulatory agency would also independently rate the securities, independently appraise the collateral, uh, verify the income using income tax returns. We'd have a total transparent financial system, which we don't have. That's part one of limited purpose banking. The other part is to take all these financial companies, banks, insurance companies, hedge funds, transform them all into mutual fund companies. Mutual fund companies don't borrow money to invest. What they do is they take in money on an equity basis mm -hmm. and they buy securities. They buy T-bills, they buy mortgages, they buy commercial paper, whatever you want to buy through a mutual fund in terms of financial product, right. you can do it. And they can never fail because they're never leveraged. So you have these financial intermediaries. So no more leverage in your view? No more leverage by the intermediaries. Individuals can borrow to buy a house. That's their leverage. Right. Companies can borrow to buy to invest. That's leverage by companies. Hedge but you funds. Don't, hedge funds cannot. Uh, no, they're mutual, they're going to act as mutual funds uh, in terms of what they do. And yes.